Colorado. You're good. Here, fight him go him around. Look, Look at, at this sheep's head. Go through like one of the sockets. I want to try to exit like one of the harder parts out. Like make sure the barb goes through too. That's a Wham! Dud. Wham bam! Dude. Thank you, ma'am. Dog! Alright guys, so we're actually in Virginia this weekend. The weather in Wilmington did not look very good, so I decided to make a little road trip. We're linking up with Jeff. Jeff runs One Fish, Two Fish, the YouTube channel. Uh, we're gonna fish the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. Uh, and it should be pretty good. Uh, weather looks great. Uh, we got crabs, we got jigs. You know, this is the time of year anything can be around. So we will play this by ear, but uh, we're gonna put the camera down and get on the water in a couple minutes. Hmm, feel that, feel that Virginia heat. That's right. Fun in the sun today. Yep. Right here, we are doing some multitasking. But right now I'm rigging up one conventional rod and reel for a fish finder slider. The other setup, I'm going to put a jig on. And I think we're going to start with just baiting crabs and exploring around. It's been really rough weather, so nobody's been out. So it's been a giant reset button, basically. I think a lot of people are just feeling it out. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. Feel it up. Okay, so I mentioned I was rigging up a conventional outfit. That's just in case the current's real heavy. I'm handing Jeff a bottom sweeper jig. This is basically a specifically designed jig to fish with crabs. Generally when you're targeting bottom fish, such as a toe tug or sheep's head. That should be. I got it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna be in for drama if we find something real good. Elias is hooked up. See what his fighting skills are. If we can finesse this dude around this piling. Oh yeah. Let me know, dude. Let me know. I'm here at the ready. If you want, you want me to undo it? I got you. I'll get the footage for you. You're good. Hold on, hold on. I opened the bell. You did? Yeah. There's, uh, you're gonna have to untie if I got a shot at him. He got me. Ah, he got me for sure. Where's he at? Where's he at? He's in between. Got him. He's out. Got him? Yeah, he's out. Okay. Oh, nice. How big do you think he is? He's big. Oh, boy. We're still low. He's in between. Got you. But, but he's right gone. He's going out. There he's he is. Leader. I saw him. Drum. Black. All right, you're good. You're in the clear. Watch the front. Yep. This ain't like the kayak, man. This ain't. Just speak, babe, bridge, shake, babe. You can't run him down. Okay. Nice. Nice, nice. You dirty dog. This is good. Little drum. Got the visual, that's the important part. Got him? Yeah. Got him. Sick. Nice fish, dog. Good start. <laughs> oh, <laughs> easy. Got to be political correct. Yeah, right. Nice. Real nice. Nice. How yeah. big do you think he is, like pound wise? Probably 10, maybe 12, somewhere around there. 10 to 15, but probably around 10. A little lower in. All right, buddy. He's gone. Nice. Blue crab root. Let me grab blue. I'll call you as soon as I can. Like 30, 45 minutes. Just blame it on me. <laughs> Elias is just like it. He fell in. Yeah. <laughs> fell in. His girlfriend was calling him. <laughs> Got stopped by the police. 
We have to rescue somebody. Oh, there's a whole or a seal. Crazy. Got the seal on the line. <laughs> Baby seal we have to rescue. Right. We have wawas in the south. Or in the or in New York. Oh, just Jersey, right? Jersey's the land of Wawa. Jersey in here. Hmm, croaker. Croaker attack. Mm. Feels like a sheep's head. Ooh, I'm fucked. You got him? might be the way to go. Yes, sir. Sheep's head, yeah. Is it? I think so. Sheepy. Come up here. Definitely sheep. What? That's a Wham. Wham bam. Dude. Thank you, ma'am. Dog. <laughs> wow. Okay. Damn. I thought that was a black drum. Damn. That's a citation, brother. Damn. <laughs> wow. It's a, one of my big I definitely want a picture of that. Wow. <laughs> Huge! Damn! Here we go, man. Let me get this. I got you. That is. I'm just blown away right now. That's a big, bad sheep's head. That quarter crab is key. Dude, I, I was like, ah, oh, black drum. No, massive. Dang, dude. So yeah, we so far Elias has caught. He's kind of uh, carrying uh, carrying uh, him and I on his shoulders right now. Black drum and a nice sheep's head. Look at that. Stud. Yeah, I just used a one ounce jig, maybe three quarter, quarter piece of crab. I don't know. I got like a couple of feet of 25 pound, 15 pound braid. PB like. 28, 29, 16 pounds. All right, so all I did here, right, take the hook point, right? It's kind of like for tog, the same concept. Go through like one of the sockets. I want to try to exit like one of the harder parts out, like make sure the barb goes through too, just like that. So you want to make sure you're like secured. Blue crabs are like softer than green crabs. I think green crabs are like the toughest, but uh, yeah, that's it. Big baits. All about the big bait. Yeah, I just kind of try to follow it so I don't get too much slack in the line. As soon as it takes bottom, I just you know try to maintain contact with the bottom. Yeah, those big sheep could be kind of solitary though. There might just be that one. Right. Or you can get a bunch of other random little trash fish nibbling away. I think this is croaker right now. I'll take the legs off too because this way um, it won't get resistance. Those legs make it harder for it to get down there. There you go. Use your teeth, whatever you got to do. There's yeah. scissors back there if you don't want to. Usually I'm like 10 oyster toads and one other fish by now. Yeah, right. My oyster toad ratio is better than usual. Oh, I'm so f Yeah. Another sheep. Well, this is what I can do here. Open water, we're good. Take your time. You know what my common comments are? Catching cooks, like, how come you kill everything, right? You, yeah. And then on the catch release videos, like, like how, come how come you didn't keep it? Another good one, dude. Yeah. Mm. 
Awesome fish. They were so awesome. This one's a little smaller than the last one for sure. But still, sick fish. Sick. Look at those teeth, man. Okay, let's get this fat too. All right, my band. Dude, these jig heads are awesome. Oh, he's gonna like hearing that. Let's see what we got. I think it's a black or a red. It might be a, dry, red, a sheep. I, I don't know your rod and your. I'm so used to my stuff, so I'm like, I could tell it's red. A Four thousand. I'm fishing. Nice sheep. Big one, dude. Damn, damn. It's a freaking insane sheep set. Oh, I hit him in the head there. there Not yet. Oh, son. Dude, nice job, nice. dude. It's a that nice one. Sick. All right, y'all. I just pretty much caught my PB sheep's head. That thing is a stunt. That is sick. Wow. Was that your first sheep's head? Yeah. Oh. I caught one. Uh, but, dude, I haven't caught one in a long time because I didn't even target them last year. Mm. Make a big move. But we'll be back. A couple. In a few, we'll be back. In a few. Whoa. We just got a cobia, that's why we're done. Well, come on out. You got a pole? Yep. Yeah. Need like a big ass push push pull. Uh, I feel sand right there. Sand. What's going on, man? You guys came for me. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. All right, ready? Things are getting interesting. Yeah, that's right. All right, Elias, it's hooked up. Fish. Is this your fourth fish? Fourth fish of the day. Yep. It's gonna be red or black? Black. Elias is calling black. Oh, sheepy. Sheep's head. Big one. Dude. Dang. Elias is crushing it. Dang. Is it bigger than mine? Huh? I think it is. Dang. Dude. Thought that was gonna be a black drum for sure. Gotta get a measurement of that dude. Mm. <laughs> That's a good. Oh yeah. That's a good nice thumbnail. Sweet. I see. Oh, move one foot. Yeah, 24. Dirty dog, 24 inches. Hanging out with the convicts today, y'all. Damn, what a fish. A big Hang on. Alright. You wanna throw me a little crab, Jen? Look at that fish, man. That is awesome. That is huge. Yeah, you can feel it. That is not a good wind. Let's pack it in. Yeah. 
Well, I'd love to tell you more about my sheep's head and my drum and how to fish for them, but uh, or the oyster toads. But I think we're uh, I think we're cutting it we're cutting it close right now. We're on borrowed time. Things are looking fun. If you don't know what rain looks like in the distance, it's like a cloud is hitting the water. So that's usually the sign. Um, you know, up there, yeah, that's alarming. Good thing I'm not on a kayak because it definitely would be hauling ass right now. Tomorrow's supposed to be a lot nicer, so that's good. All right, well, we made it back in one piece. It's looking pretty good out there now. So we got one more day. Oh, look at that pelican go. All right, so we got one more day. Uh, we're gonna give this a try again today. I think we're gonna switch it up a little bit. All right, so that wasn't too bad. Conditions did not hold up, unfortunately. But we got three sheep said, one drum for me. Jeff got two sheep said. His first ones that he's caught in a long time. So, um, unfortunately, if we got, I think if we had better weather for the afternoon, we probably would have caught a bunch more. So we're gonna go out there again today. So that's a different video. But check out Jeff's channel. Thanks for him taking me out. Um, Let's see what we're going to do on this outing right now. Links to the gear I was using in the video, I was using those jigs I gave Jeff, and I was using the club bottom sweeper jigs. I like them a lot for sheep's head fishing, and you can see why, I guess. Um, and uh, the reel I was using, that's a Daiwa Fuego LT, a 15-pound braid on it, and dark matter rod. So, uh, fun stuff. Um, now we're going to give this a try for day two. So, here we go. <laughs> 